Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about one of the oldest legendary heroes in Call of Dragons, which is, in my opinion, a very, very underrated hero in general, especially in the season TI. It's been an infantry meta and everybody knows infantry is important and infantry is good because they have a huge amount of uh, physical defense and in general defensive stats right uh, to mitigate those defensive stats in my opinion Nico is one of the best uh, legendary heroes to use it and of course its hero pairs are also very good against uh, infantry as a marksman main I think I gained enough experience to speak about uh, more deeply about the game in general let's dive in in terms of Nico's play kit and uh, first of all in order to in, in order for us to find out why I think uh, Nico is good against infantry uh, heroes, we need to understand Nico's skill set, right? First and main skill, as always, um, pure skill damage factor skill, uh, 1400 uh, skill damage factor, and we need to mention that Nico is more uh, skill damage factor type of marksman, and what's the most important about Nico's first skill is that there is a 15% defense reduction. Uh, in terms of defense reduction, it's pretty unique skill uh, in general in Call of Dragons, and that's why I think Nico is one of the best uh, heroes against Against infantry players because they are having a huge amount of defenses right for example tier 4 infantry uh, without any researches in terms of defense they have 300 de physical defense so like this 15 percent uh, defense uh, reduction means a lot of course one of the weakest skills which Nico has is engineering skill I'm not gonna speak more deeply about this uh, I wish we had something else here but uh, let's forget that second skill in general exists right the third skill is marksman unit physical attack bonus up to 20 percent uh, marksman unit defense uh, bonus to 10 percent that's pretty normal for any heroes you have to have uh, your legion specific buffs uh, and here we have the attack bonus physical one and defense the fourth skill is normal attack bonus is 20% and counter attack damage bonus 20%. Well, I do like this skill uh, in general. I like whenever I have a uh, counter attack damage bonus on my marksman heroes because it's really a big pain whenever somebody is trying to hit you and you are dealing a lot of counter attack damage to them, right? It, sometimes it feels like you are infantry and you are killing enemies simply by just them attacking your legion. The awakening skill, which we have to speak because Nico uh, can be awakened for a free to play player, so you, you, you just have to get super lucky in terms of gold keys uh, and the pulls from the gold chests. Uh, when Nico's Legion launches a normal attack on a target Legion that already has defense, uh, defense break, they have a chance, a 80% chance to deal additional 200 damage. Damage type is physical. Simply like um, 1400 from the skill damage factor from the main skill, plus 200 uh, damage factor from the awakening skill uh, if you have a defense break on your enemy and trust me it will be really easy for you to have a defense break on your enemy whenever you are hitting uh, in general any type of legions on the battlefield uh, of course the synergy is pretty understandable like uh, Nico will decrease enemies defenses and that's how you will deal a, a physical damage factor skill damage factor uh, damage to enemies it's especially good uh, against the infantry because they have high amount of defense but ne let's not forget uh, mages will be uh, in pain too because they have the lowest amount of defense and uh, if you are reducting the uh, defense of the mages uh, by 15% you will be dealing more and more damage to them right I really like Nigo as a hero in general and um, one of the most important aspects why I like it even more that uh, we can get it from the uh, gold key and it means that it's simply free to play friendly legendary hero in our game uh, for the hero pairs for the Nico 
well i have one an obvious one which is uh, nico and kinara which i have been using since the day one and i'm really really happy about this hero pair and i think that's the main and most important hero pair for uh, nico so far right and let me explain why first of all kinara is same type of uh, marksman hero as nico more of a skill damage factor uh, type of marksman uh, which gonna deal 1400 skill damage factor to the enemy uh, and what's most important there is a couple of synergies right nico had counter attack damage synergy uh bonus to 20 percent uh kinara is having uh 30 percent counter attack damage right uh, it's adding up together and you are going to deal a lot of counter attack damage to your legions also what's really really important right if you will awaken kinara you are getting defense break on your enemies so whenever kinara will apply defense break on the enemy legion uh nico's awakening skill will deal 200 physical damage additional uh to the target right because simply whenever uh nico is attacking enemy and you are applying defense break it's still it's dealing 200 physical damage more uh kinara is helping with that kinara will apply defense break on the enemy and you are going to deal a lot of uh, skill damage factor physical skill damage factor damage to the enemies of course high amount of counter attack damage which will make you tanky and of course the uh, buffs like 30 percent physical attack bonus to ginara uh, nico has a uh, 20 percent physical attack bonus which is adding up together uh, and here uh, normal attack bonus 20 percent um, Nico has a normal attack bonus 20% again adding up to each other and also uh, you are as, as, we, as I already mentioned you have to be tanky in order to deal a lot of counter attack damage right and uh, Kinara is also uh, giving us hero skill damage taken reduction to 10% which will make our uh, legion a lot more tankier and of course target damage deals reduction 15% right so imagine you are tanky you are dealing skill damage fuck you are uh, using your rage to deal more and more damage if enemy is hitting you you are dealing huge amount of counter attack damage to them and your main uh, damage type is of course uh, skill damage factor which is physical i really enjoy this hero pair in my opinion like one of the most free to play friendly hero pairs for marksman players in general because i understand it's really hard for a free-to-play player if you are not getting lucky to get Cindrion. Uh, and in my opinion fragar should be played only with Cindrion. that's the main hero pair between uh, between them and of course for kinara hero pairs like there is hosk which is the best one and for a free-to-play players it's really hard to get hosk in general right so there is one obvious choice which is Nico and Kinara, main and most perfect hero pair for Nico uh, as a legendary hero. If you don't have Kinara, then of course you can simply go like, for example, Gwenwin, um, and you will be applying poison damage. But honestly, that's not the main uh, hero pair for Nico, right? Uh, so far, uh, I think there is only one hero pair for Nico, which is uh, Kinara. Uh, now it's time for me to speak about talents, which is really important topic for marksman players. Uh, as I mentioned, um, uh, like Nico has a one bad skill, uh, which is engineering. But in, like we need to speak that uh, besides engineering, Nico has one of the best uh, talents for uh, marksman legendary heroes or in general heroes, which is precision. Right? In my opinion, Nico should be built on a precision tree. Uh, I would be choosing like uh, invisible when launching a normal attack your legion has a 10 percent chance to gain onslaught onslaught means that like your normal attack damage is increased by eight uh, percent here mark of the war increases the attack of your legion by 0.5 percent every 10 seconds up to maximum three percent well in general nico and kinara's uh, hero pair is really tanky which will be helpful for us to apply the mark of the war right and the or for the marksman tree I'm, I'm, i will be going for the 
uh, bullseye when your legion consists entirely of marksman units they gain five stack of the attack increase uh, of every 10 seconds while in battle each uh, stack increases their attack by one percent so i think in general for any marksman hero precision is the best talent to choose uh, it's same for like for example mages it's a skill talent tree uh, for cavalry it's mainly mobility for uh, infantry it's tank and for marksmen uh, it's precision it's really good that in general uh, free to play friendly hero um, as nico it is uh, we have precision talent uh, which makes uh, this hero even better i honestly understand that there is like different priorities regarding uh, marksman heroes but uh, mostly as a, one of the oldest legendary heroes in the game i think nico is still viable i'm 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 playing with nico and kinara as a, my main march and i'm having a huge success currently in season t1 uh, that's about the talent trees about the Nico. Now it's time for us to speak about artifacts. And uh, again, I will. Uh, I need to mention that the artifacts which we have for the marksmen, like almost every single artifact, can be used on the Nico. That's why I like it. Uh, I like him so much that almost any scenario in the game you will be using Nico, right? For example, right now my main uh, artifact for marksmen uh, is my Shadow Blades. Shadow Blade is a great artifact, uh, will be used on any marksman hero in general, and uh, such as uh, Nico. Uh, let's say you don't have uh, Shadow Blades, right? What's the other obvious choices? Uh, if you don't have any legendary artifacts currently for marksmen, well, I think uh, Heart Piercer is a great, uh, great artifact for Nico, especially because you are giving uh, the defense break uh, from the Heart Piercer, right? And uh, uh, Nico's Awakening skill is connected to the defense break, so you will be dealing a huge amount of damage. In terms of epic, uh, Heart Purser is the number one choice, most obvious choice. In terms of legendary ones, Shadow Blades can be uh, applied with the Nico, played with the Nico. Uh, other choices, of course, uh, if you are running uh, Nico and Kinara hero pair, I think Rattle Spear will be the amazing choice for you. I can understand that in general, like using the skill is not the best way, which we can see. Uh, but what's the most important uh, with the Rattle Spear that it's inflicting defense break to the enemies uh, for seven seconds. So now you can imagine how much damage you are going to do with your Nico and with its uh, awakening skill if you have done it, of course. So I think. Rattle Spear is one of the best choices in general for Nico and Kinara hero pair. Uh, other than that, honestly, any uh, artifact which is marksman can be used on uh, Nico. Uh, Gold Crest, I understand. Gold Crest is great for Syndrion, but if you don't have Syndrion and you have Gold Crest, you can use Gold Crest on your Nico too. Uh, the Viola's Bow, not the best uh, artifact in general for marksmen because I really prefer the uh, attack bonuses on the uh, marksman artifacts. So that's why if you don't have any other artifacts for marksmen and you have Viola's Bow, you can be using this uh, artifact on your uh, Nikos Legion. Other than that, the newest artifact, uh, which is the epic one, Steel Hearts Avenger, uh, like same again, it can be used on a Nico, like as I mentioned, a Nico is very versatile hero in general, and I think any marksman artifact can be viable, but I would prefer more attack style of artifact or Nikos, preferably with defense break, right? that's all about uh, artifacts which uh, we currently have in the game uh, like most viable ones is of course shadow blades because you can get it from the gold from the chests uh, from the universal compendium uh, artifact compendium chests so in general artifacts which free to play player can get by just playing the game is the most viable ones in general now uh, like one of the most important things is like warpets i really really like warped system in the game uh, uh, that's why I will be speaking about Nico's best warpet, uh, which you currently can run. In my opinion, there is one obvious choice, which is Snow Peak Rock, and I will explain why. The main skill of the uh, Snow Peak Rock is concentration, and uh, it's pretty easy to understand what it does. Uh, it gives us Legion physical attack, uh, and also there is 30% chance to deal damage to the target Legion when inflicted defense break. So now you can imagine, like, oh, every time we speak spoke about Nico and Kinara, I have mentioned defense break, I have mentioned additional damage whenever there is defense break, so 
Concentration is giving us additional synergy with defense break and in general Nico and Kinara's hero pair is all about defense break and dealing damage in that way. So uh, it's adds, it adds up our synergies towards um, defense break with the Nico and Kinara hero pair and I think it's uh, the best uh, while best choice in terms of uh, Nico uh, which is snow peak rock of course I'm not gonna speak more deeply about how you can build snow peak rock but it's pretty easy to understand finish concentration synergy and the second synergy is chain strike and chain strike generally gives us more chance to deal uh, additional physical normal attack damage which is generally great on any marksman hero uh, other work pets which can be worked which can be uh, totally fine uh, with the Nico Kinara hero pair is of course uh, uh, sand lizard simply because sand lizard gives us a chance to stay alive longer uh, on the battlefield and in general uh, Nico and Kinara is dealing a lot of counter attack damage and the stone aura will be healing us uh, will make us stay alive longer which gonna mean that we will deal more and more damage I think like snow peak rock and sand lizard are two main and obvious choices in terms of uh, Nico's um, war pets so I think that's it only two choices which we can uh, use on Nico uh, that's all I can speak about war pets uh, currently if you want to have more detailed explanation of the war pets I have done a one by one uh, guides about every single war pet which you can check on my channel uh, why I like Nico in general simply and one of the most important I guess is that you can get it from the gold chests right and in general uh, as I have mentioned like my playstyle have been that I'm trying to get as much Nico sense possible from the gold chest and I have chosen uh, the uh, Kinara on my VIP shop right which means every single day I'm trying my best to upgrade Kinara as much as possible while I'm getting free tokens for the Nico and trying to get Nico's uh, levels up as much as possible because I think this hero pair will be uh, most perfect whenever both heroes have their skills awakened that's the full potential which you can get from the Nico and Kinara. In general, I think simply because it's been a mainly infantry meta in season T1, uh, the defense break is really underrated uh, skill set in the game, and I think it's working perfectly for me as a 100% free to play player fighting against mainly tier 5 players. I somehow managed to get almost 6 million merits. That's why I'm sharing my experience. Uh, Nico and Kinara has been my first and uh, most important hero pair since day one of the playing Call of Dragons. That's why I thought it will be a great opportunity for me to uh, speak more deeply about this amazing hero pair and in general Nico, right? I understand it's uh, really bad that we have engineering talent and the skill. Uh, it would be much, much better if we had something else uh, in terms of uh, the second skill but still i really like nico uh, mainly especially as a free-to-play player and i'm i'm 100 sure if you are marksman main in general you have to have uh be using nico uh in the pvp battlefield right as of course nico can be used in behemoths because we have a precision talent tree which you can upgrade anytime uh, as you wish that's all i wanted to speak um, about the nico i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy in general content which i'm trying to make if you do press like subscribe share comment it always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, content for this game uh, thanks for watching i hope uh, you will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck